As the back and forth continues between United States and North Korea, the European Union has expanded its sanctions on Pyongyang for its repeated provocations. The move is expected to make it more difficult for the regime to funnel money into its nuclear and missile programs. And our Park Jong Hong has this story. North Korea has been pushed further into the diplomatic wilderness, this time by the European Union. Those newly added to the blacklist are subject to an asset freeze and travel restrictions in the region. North Korea's state-owned foreign trade bank is among those subject to the punitive measures. In a press release published on its website on Thursday, the EU Council added nine individuals and four entities to its sanctions list. This follows the new and toughened sanctions resolution on North Korea adopted by the UN Security Council last week. The EU Council said the other contents of the resolution will be legislated soon so that all 28 member countries implement them. It reiterated that it's also taking autonomous measures against the North to supplement and strengthen the UN sanctions. Calling on North Korea to immediately halt its provocations, the EU also urged the U.S. to push for the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula through peaceful means, not military action. With the new additions, there are now 62 individuals and 50 entities on the EU's North Korea sanctions list, of which 41 persons and 7 entities are designated by Brussels autonomously. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.